मोल कंसेप्ट चैप्टर ओके एंड आफ्टर दैट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सोल्यूशंस ठीक है सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद दिस क्वेश्चन जस्ट अ बिट ऑफ रिवीजन हियर द क्वेश्चन इज सेइंग द एग्जैक्ट वॉल्यूम्स ऑफ वन मोलर एनओ एच सॉल्यूशन रिक्वायर्ड टू न्यूट्रलाइज 50 एमएल ऑफ वन मोलर एच3PO3 सॉल्यूशन एंड 100 एमएल ऑफ टू मोलर एच3PO2 सॉल्यूशंस आर रेस्पेक्टिवली व्हाट सो व्हाट इट इज आस्किंग इट इज आस्किंग यू टू न्यूट्रलाइज acid hai na h3po3 is also an acid h3po2 is also an acid by a, by using a base they have given you the amount of acid and its molarity and they have asked you what is the volume of nawh that is being required that is being required okay so first of all i will see if i have 1h plus it will be neutralized by 1 oh negative hai na so it is also question regard a question on the stoichiometric calculation It is also a question on a stoichiometric calculation. Also, we should also know that the volumes do not neutralize. Right? Volumes is, for example, if I have fifty mL plus fifty mL, is का क्या मतलब है? Are they going to neutralize each other? No. One more component is present. That is the molarity. Okay. If we know the molarity, and then only we can say which is going to neutralize which one. So the basic term for neutralization that we have to worry about is the number of moles. So if I have two hundred H plus ions, then it will be neutralized by two hundred OH negative ions, right? So basically, the amount of H plus and amount of OH negative, and the SI unit for amount is moles. So you have to always deal in terms of moles. So yeah. let us start getting the number of moles. Now, if I take fifty mL of one molar H three PO three, we know that molarity is equal to number of moles upon the volume. Therefore, the number of moles will be molarity into volume. So what will be the number of moles here? It will be fifty into one, and you will get fifty millimolar, fifty millimoles of H three PO three, and you will get hundred mL into two. You will get hundred into two. That is equal to two hundred millimoles of H three PO two. Now another thing that comes into picture is the Amount of H plus ion that can be liberated by H three PO three and amount of H plus ion that can be liberated by H three PO two. For that, you have to have some knowledge of the bonding, chemical bonding and structure. So, if you look at phosphorus, you will have double bond O, at least one double bond O, and you will have one OH. ठीक है? This is something that is going to be constant. इतना होना ही चाहिए if you have any acid that is based upon phosphorus. Now, what else do we have H three PO three में? we have uh, remaining how much hydrogen is remaining we have two hydrogens remaining and one oxygen remaining so there will be one oh and then there will be one hydrogen right so this is the structure of h3po3 the structure of h3po2 will be p double bond o will be there oh will be there as it is now we have done with oxygen we just have two more hydrogens so two more hydrogens will be as it is like this now What are the acidic hydrogens? The acidic hydrogens are these hydrogens, which are bonded with OH. Okay, this is also acidic hydrogen. So in H three PO three, here we have how many H? We have two acidic hydrogen, and here only we have one acidic hydrogen. So basically, I can say that fifty into two that is equal to Hundred millimoles of H plus I will be getting. Is this clear? Is one of the reasons first of all about the number of moles of H plus ions. Is this clear? Is one of the reasons me. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Clear, eh? Anna. Now, in order to neutralize hundred millimoles, in order to neutralize hundred millimoles, I need how much? I need hundred millimoles of. OH negative or OH negative, how much will you get? Any OH? Tell me. How many OH negative will you get from one NaOH? From one sodium hydroxide, how many OH negative will you get? Tell me. One. One. Right. So, if you if for hundred, you will need hundred moles of what NaOH? And hundred millimoles of NaOH. And since it is one molar, so one molar will be how much? If you have hundred milliliter. From that you will get hundred millimoles. Is this clear? Yes, one to me. Clear, sir. Go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. 
एंड सिमिलरली फॉर टू हंड्रेड कितना चाहिए रहेगा बताइए टू न्यूट्रलाइज टू हंड्रेड मिली मोस हाउ मेनी एम एल विल बी रिक्वायर्ड टू हंड्रेड हाउ मच टू हंड्रेड राइट टू हंड्रेड एम एल ऑफ एन एच विल बी रिक्वायर्ड इज दिस क्लियर ऑल ऑफ यू यस यस so please note this down Is everyone done? Yes or no? Please tell me. B is the correct answer. then can i move on yes sir okay yeah okay fine now let us look out let us look at solutions now in solution i will be using a terminology that is i will use a for solvent and b for solute so if and n is for number of moles okay so if i write n a that means i am talking about number of moles of solvent if i write n b i am talking about number of moles of solute if i talk about chi b then i am talking about mole fraction of solute okay now solution can be divided into three categories we can have also one more thing in general for j means you just need to know binary solutions binary solutions has only two components one will be solvent and the other is going to be solute okay so that is why we are always taking what we are always taking binary uh, binary solutions and in which solvent is always a liquid in which solvent is always a liquid okay so first of all we have liquid plus gas so here the solvent is liquid and the solute is what solute is gas and this follows henry's law since this was in our 12th standard that is why i am not giving you the complete explanation on how this law came into existence i hope all of you are aware of and this law which is being used when you have liquid and we add gas into it we have a solute gas now one question that i want to ask is this kh is for the solute or the solvent tell me this kh is for solute or the solvent kh kiske liye hoga solute ke liye liquid ke liye ya gas ke liye gas yeah. yeah very good the kh is for gas and what does this kh tell you about the gas sodium 20 hmm so solubility kya hogi if kh is higher solubility will be less yeah very good solubility is inversely proportional to kh solubility is inversely proportional to kh of a gas okay in henry's law next we have a liquid a and a liquid b that means both of these are capable of producing vapors and since both of their both of them are capable of producing vapors then the total pressure above the solution will be determined by the mole fraction of a and also the mole fraction of e of mole fraction of b if you see here in henry's law it is only dependent on the mole fraction of b that is gas because the tendency to escape is very high for gas than that of liquid if i have if i compare gas and liquid both of them will be making vapors 
but the escapability, the escaping tendency of gas is very high than that of liquid. That is why it is predominantly, it is predominantly affected only by the gases. Now in Rolso, since we have both liquid A and liquid B, both of them are volatile and they are comparably volatile. Uh, we can compare the volatility there. Liquid A is also getting vapors. Liquid B is also getting giving you vapors. And both of them are contributing to the total pressure. In that case, the total pressure will be equal to P0 A chi A plus P0 B chi B. P0 A chi A and P0 B chi B. Explicitly, Rolle's law is not this statement, but this statement is correct for liquid A and liquid B. Rolle's law just says that the part, the pressure, that is the partial pressure due to A will be equal to will be equal to the product of the pressure vapor pressure of pure A into the mole fraction. Yeah? So P naught A chi A. And P A plus P B, you P naught A chi A plus P naught B chi B. But inherently, you have to use this equation that I have written in blue. Now, Rolle's law, there are some solutions which deviates, which go, uh, which do not follow Rolle's law, and they show deviations. So there are two types of deviation. There is a positive deviation and a negative deviation. Right? Rolle's law is a positive deviation and a negative deviation. A positive deviation is what happens? Pressure is high. The pressure of the solution is what happens? Expected is more than that. And the pressure of the solution in negative deviation is lower than expected. Now the pressure can only be higher. Please listen to this very carefully. The pressure will be only higher if the interaction is good or bad. Tell me that. Vapors cup zada bane. Liquid form se liquid form se vapor me cup zada ho convert hoga when the interactions are good or interactions are bad. Tell me. When the interactions are weak. When the interaction are weak, right? So here we'll have weak interaction or bad interactions. Right? Weak interaction. And you suppose I'm my ASO, please tell me all of you. Yes, Aditya, Marita, Priya. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, inversely speaking, when the pressure is less, that means less and less components are getting converted to vapor. Why they are less and less getting converted to vapor? Vapor because the interaction is good. So here we will write there are good interaction. It has good interaction. Okay. Now, then we have to also see if the pressure is already high. If the pressure is already high, to usko boil karna asan ho ya difficult ho? Will it be easier to boil or difficult to boil? If the pressure is already high, vapor pressure. Sorry, matlab, pressure ka matlab, pe vapor pressure. Hai. If the vapor pressure is already high, to usko, what is boiling point? First of all, what is boiling point? Boiling point is that temperature at which? Boiling point is at that temperature at which? Aditya, what is boiling point? Yes, Aditya. Any idea what is boiling point? Okay, all of you. What about you guys, Krishna, Adriel? Old students, so the pressure what of the solvent becomes equal to the atmospheric pressure. Ah, correct, very good. Anna. So, what is boiling point? Boiling point is not the temperature at which water starts boiling. That is not a definition. What is the boiling point? Boiling point is that temperature at which the vapor pressure is equal to 1 atm. More accurately speaking, vapor pressure is equal to the external pressure. If you have one atm, you have pressure on the external pressure. That means to boil that particular thing inside the container, we have to get the vapor pressure to 2 atm. If you have external pressure, 2 atm. That is why in pressure cooker, what happens? In pressure cooker, the boiling point is boiling point. Water boiling at normal pressure, 1 atm, temperature is less than that. But if you are boiling water inside pressure cooker, pressure cooker may external pressure bahut zyada hota hai. That is why the water boils at higher temperature. Higher temperature matlab, jaha pe paani ko 100 degree Celsius se upar chani ki jazat nahi thi. It was not permitted to go above 100 degree Celsius at normal condition. In pressure cooker, it can go 150 degree Celsius. If it can go 150 degree Celsius, to ird gir jo bhi material hai, whichever we are cooking, it is also getting 150 degree Celsius, hai na? So 100 degrees Celsius में ज़्यादा जल्दी cook होगा 150 में. Obviously 150 में ज़्यादा जल्दी cook होगा. That is why in pressure cooker things get cooked really fast. Okay. So I was talking about the boiling point. Now if the pressure is already high, तो उसको 1 atm पहुँचने में ज़्यादा time नहीं लगेगा. Is that right? Yes or no? Please tell me. If the pressure is already high, then it will be easier to get to 1 atm. Is that correct? Yes or no? Please tell me, guys. Yes. 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 If it is easier, 
तो इसका बॉइलिंग पॉइंट क्या हो जाएगा इसका बॉइलिंग पॉइंट हो जाएगा कम इसका जब कम हो जाएगा बॉइलिंग पॉइंट तो इन्हीं इस तरह के एजियोट्रोप को क्या बोलते हैं मिनिमम बॉइलिंग एजियोट्रोप मिनिमम बॉइलिंग एजियोट्रोप ठीक है एंड इनवर्सली स्पीकिंग इनको क्या बोलेंगे मैक्सिमम बॉइलिंग एजियोट्रोप सिंस द वेपर प्रेशर इज लो इन ऑर्डर to get in order to reach it to 1 atm we are going to have we are going to heat it more more yeah? and that is why what is going to happen the boiling point will be higher the boiling point will be higher so you'll get minimum boiling is a drop from positive deviation and uh, extreme level of positive deviation deviation se kya milega minimum boiling is a drop or negative deviation se kya milega aapko maximum boiling is a drop mm -hmm. then we come to the liquid plus solid and this solid is going to be non volatile नॉन वोटाइल का क्या मतलब है नॉन वोटाइल का मतलब है दैट नॉन वोटाइल का मतलब है इट इज नॉट गोइंग टू गिव यू एनी वेपर्स है ना एंड इन दैट केस वी हैव दिस इक्वेशन दैट इज रिलेटिव लोवरिंग ऑफ वेपर प्रेशर व्हिच वी एसेंशियली लर्न इन कोलिगेटिव प्रॉपर्टी बट बिकॉज़ यहां पे बहुत अच्छा सिमेट्री टाइप को मिल जाएगा आपको लिक्विड प्लस गैस लिक्विड प्लस लिक्विड लिक्विड प्लस सॉलिड एक ही तरह आप इन तीनों को याद रखिएगा ओके सो आर एल वीपी इज पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल अपॉन पी नॉट ए इज इक्वल टू काइ ओके सो प्लीज राइट दिस डाउन एवरीथिंग व्हाटएवर वी हैव रिटन टिल हियर is there any doubt in this small section please let me know सोल्वेंट का सोल्यूशन का है सो पी टोटल इज द टोटल टोटल कहाँ पे मिलेगा जब आपको दो चीज को एड कीजिएगा सोलवेंट प्लस सोल्यूट यानी कि सोल्यूशन इज दट क्लियर मरीज वेर आर की फ्रॉम बाई द वे सबका प्लान Yes, Marita, you were saying something. Uh, no, sir. I was just saying, I uh, we are planning to move back to India. Okay, plan to move. Okay, your name is Marita only, no? Or it is Marita? How do you pronounce your name? Marita, Marita. Marita. Okay, I'm pronouncing. Let me know once you're done. Done. Let me know if you are still writing. Okay, just <clears throat> there is some note for relative lowering of paper pressure. Okay, so see, we have seen that P not A minus P total upon P not A that is equal to Ki B. Ki B. Me, we have done N upon that is the small N is for number of moles of solute and capital N is for the number of moles of solvent. Okay. Now, Ki B will be equal to what? Number of moles of solute upon the total number of moles in the solution. That is, number of moles of solute plus number of moles of solvent. Okay. Now I am flipping both sides. 
पी नॉट ए नीचे था पीनॉट पी नॉट ए को ऊपर ले आए और एन ऊपर था एन को नीचे ले आएंगे इस वाले इक्वेशन है ना यहाँ पे देखिएगा आप लोग अब पी नॉट ए अपॉन पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल इज इक्वल टू एन प्लस एन अपॉन एन ओके आई एम नॉट डूंग इन एनी इन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इन द राइट हैंड साइड आई एम जस्ट हम दोनों को अलग कर दे रहे हैं एन अपॉन एन एंड कैपिटल एन अपॉन एन द स्मॉल एन अपॉन एन विल बी इक्वल टू वन कैपिटल एन अपॉन एन विल बी एस इट इज ओके नाउ वट आई एम डूइंग आई एम गेटिंग दिस वन दिस साइड ठीक है आर एच एस से एल एच एस में शिफ्ट कर रहे हैं वन को सो आई विल गेट पी नॉट ए अपॉन पी नॉट ए माइनस पी टोटल एज इट इज माइनस वन विल बी इक्वल टू कैपिटल एन अपॉन स्मॉल एन नाउ आई एम टेकिंग एल सी एम हियर सो वन के एल सी एम लेने की वजह से क्या होगा आई विल गेट पी नॉट ए एज इट इज माइनस पी नॉट ए बिकॉज पी नॉट ए माइनस वन विल बी इक्वल टू पी नॉट ए प्लस आई विल गेट पी टोटल माइनस इन टू माइनस पी टी इन टू माइनस वन विल बी इक्वल टू प्लस पी टी है ना नाउ डिवाइड बाई P not a minus P total as it is. P not a upon P total. That is equal to number of moles of solvent upon number of moles of solute, which will be equal to P not a and P not a will be cancelling each other. I will get P total upon P not a minus P total. That is equal to number of moles of solvent upon number of moles of solute. अब इन दोनों को फिर से हमने रिवर्स कर दिया, उल्टा कर दिया. P t ऊपर था, P t नीचे आ गया. Small n नीचे था, Small n ऊपर आ गया. Okay. So I will get P not a minus P total upon P not P total will be equal to number of moles of solute upon number of moles of solvent. So please, इसको लिख लीजिए. This is very important. वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जब आपको नंबर ऑफ मोस्ट के बारे में सवाल किया जाए इट हैज बीन अ क्वेश्चन इन आई थिंक ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू या ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी राइट इट डाउन ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड हाउ डिड वी डिराइव दिस ये सोनो पी सेलमी आदित्य अटिल कृष्णा मरिता प्रिया प्लीज राइट दिस डाउन इफ यू गेट स्टक समवेयर प्लीज लेट मी नो Just give me some minutes. Then all of you, yes or no? Once you are done, please write this question. Question number one: For a solution of gases A, B, C, D in water at two ninety eight Kelvin, the values of Henry's law constant K H are this, 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 respectively. In the given graph, the lines marked as P and S correspond respectively to. So, what do you have to know? P and S correspond to A, B, C, D. P and S. This was in twenty twenty two.
send your answer in chat okay I'll give you one more minute. Um, no, no, Marita, that's not right. Simply up to happy. Pressure is equal to KH into Kai B. Hana? The Kina Japa pressure Zada Mulla Kapu Zada, which of KH Zada over right? KH is higher, pressure will also be higher. It's very simple, direct Savali. Oh, no one. Jee, batayye. Anyone? Else? No. Yes, Krishna, correct. Dekh. Uh, now Priya is also correct. Okay. Now people are getting it right. See, as I said, just the cage zada ha. That will correct very good. Okay. <clears throat> so what do we have? P is having what? P is having at any point. If you see, at any mole fraction. If you see here. And the Sari mole fraction cap P ka ka having higher pressure. The P line is having higher partial pressure. Partial pressure agar zada hai, that means KH kya ka uska. Since Kai B is same for all of them, as they click up. I'm keeping Kai B same. Kai B kasa same hai? because mole fraction of water is same for all of them. It is this point here. So KD mole fraction same. Hai. Now mole fraction of water same, hai, that means mole fraction of the gas will also be equal for all of them. So the only determining factor here for the partial pressure. Or for the pressure is what it is, the KH. Okay. KH hi kya hai, only determining factor. Hai. Now, if KH is higher, the pressure will also be higher. So pressure high ka pe, P pe high, hai, so the other KH ka pe hoga, 30, right? So that is A. A yaha pe sir fake par hai. So correct answer will be A. P corresponds to A and S corresponds to the smallest, that is uh, C ka smallest. No? Yeah. S corresponds to the smallest, that is C. Please write this down. All of you wrote this now. Write this next one. Write this question. A set of solutions prepared using 180 gram of water as solvent and 10 gram of different non-volatile solutes A, B, and C. That means we are using same amount of water and we are using same amount of non-volatile solute also. The relative lowering of vapor pressure in the presence of these solutes are in the order. The order batana apko. They have only given what is the difference between A, B, and C. A's molar mass is 100 grams, B most B's molar mass is 200 grams, and C's molar mass is 1000 grams. Okay. So what is the relative lowering of vapor pressure? That is equal to P naught A minus P total upon P naught A. That is equal to chi B. Now, since this, if this particular thing is the Relative lowering of vapor pressure, which is equal to what? Which is equal to the mole fraction of, which is equal to the mole fraction of the solution. What is mole fraction of solution? Mole fraction of solution is nothing but the given mass upon molar mass of D divided by the given mass number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. Number of moles of A plus number of moles of B. As you can see, chi B it is equal to the given mass upon the molar mass of B into Na plus Nb. Okay. So I can directly say that RLVP is inversely proportional to the molar mass. Can I say that is not me? The molar mass of the solute. And in general, all the colligative properties are inversely proportional to the molar mass. Okay. This is colligative property. But for me, RLVP is what it is inversely proportional to the molar mass. So you have to Jiska molar mass subsecamic is ka. Right? Uska kyaoga. 
it will have the largest it will have the largest value of relative lowering of vapor pressure hai na to yahan pe a ka sabse zyada hai uske baad b ka uske baad c ka right so a will be greatest then b and then c so option kya ho jayega c option ho jayega so in my as a please on please tell me Did everyone get this? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We doubt. Yes, go. Any doubt? No, no. no. Sir. Next, take it. Shall we write those down? At 35 degrees Celsius, the vapor pressure of CS2 is 512 mm Hg, and that of acetone is 344 mm Hg. The solution of CS2 in acetone has a total vapor pressure of 600 mm of Hg. The false statement amongst the following is: So, you have CS2, hai, and then you have acetone. CS2 ka total the vapor pressure of CS2 is 512, and uh, that of acetone is 344. In dono ko mix karne pe, inka jo solution ban raha hai, unka kitna hai? 600 mm Hg. Tell me the false statement. Kya hai pe? I hope you can identify whether it is a positive deviation or a negative deviation. What is the false statement? This one, okay? False statement, which I am. Hmm. False statement. False. False. Marita. False statement. Okay, sir. Dhyan dijiye. False statement. Puch rahi hai. First of all, think in terms ki agar pressure zada hai since we are having. Yes, Priya, correct. Very good, Priya. So, interactions ke baare mein sochi. Hai na? Is CS2 or acetone dono ek dusre ko attract karengi ya fir repel karengi. Matlab, kam attract karengi. And uske baada fir baaki saari chizho pe yaha pe dek sakte hai. Everything here. Dekhi, first of all, D to correct hai aap hai na? D is what? It is a true statement. This is true. It is not obeying the Rolls law. If the Rolls law obey, it will be somewhere in between. 512 and 344. Hmm. Again, that is a true statement. Na? Again. See, how you have to deal with this. First of all, you see here, 512 plus C44. So it is a positive deviation. Yes or no, please tell me. Is this a positive deviation? Yes, sir. We have done this. Positive deviation. That means there are bad interaction. Say so, yeah, yes or no, please tell me. So how do we identify that it's a positive deviation? Look, na, a vapor pressure to 512 hai and it's got 344, hai, right? In dono se zada hai solution ka. That means pressure has increased. Vapor pressure kya hua hai? Increase hua hai. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. Look, jab dono ke se zada ho jai, to obviously we can see that what? There is a positive deviation. There can be sometimes when the pressure is intermediate in dono ke beech mein bhi hoga, and then also you can say whether it is positive deviation or negative deviation. Or pe bhi ho so because the ideal hai, that should be P should be equal to P naught A, I A plus P naught B kindly. 
एक्यूरेट आंसर जब आपको मिलेगा ना ये तो लाइक दिस इज आई एम टाइम श्योर यहाँ पे कि बिकॉज दोनों से ज्यादा ही है तो ऑब्वियसली देर इज अ पॉजिटिव डिविजन जब सिक्स हंड्रेड कर दिया हमने लेकिन अगर वो यहाँ पे पांच सौ कर देते तब हम आई वुड नॉट हैट वेदर इट इज पॉजिटिव डिविजन नेगेटिव डिविजन या फिर इट इज वॉट इट इज आइडियल सोल्यूशन बिकॉज कंप्लीट डेटा नहीं है हमारे पास की हाउ मच सी एस टू इज बिंग एडेड एंड हाउ मच एसिटोन हैज बीन एडेड ठीक है आपको बात समझ में आ रही है सर ओके Here we have pressure high. The more pressure, there is a positive deviation and bad interaction. Now, if there is a bad interaction, then in case solution banane me, then you have to heat it up. You have to mix it. Is that right? Yes or no? Please tell me. Because they are not interact, they are not getting dissolved easily. They are having bad interaction. So you have to have to, you have to mix it. That's it. Chini or pani hota. It is soluble. But what is happening there? You have to mix them. So this is also true. Now, since they have bad interaction, they will be far apart. Solution may be they will be what far apart. If they are far apart, then a mixture of hundred and hundred ml, hundred ml of CS two and hundred ml of acetone. If you are going to mix them together and the solution is going to be far apart, their volume will be what their volume will be greater than two hundred ml, not less than two hundred. So this is a false statement. And obviously this is true because acetone and CS two are less attracted to each other than to themselves. CS two CS two attract कर रहे हैं acetone acetone के attract uh, attract कर रहा है. That is why this is true. लेकिन सी एस टू और एसिटो एक दूसरे को अट्रैक्ट नहीं कर रहे इज दिस बी वन अंडरस्टूड यू ऑल ऑफ यू अंडरस्टूड दिस बी वन मिक्सर ऑफ वॉट अबाउट अदर्स एनी वन नॉट अंडरस्टूड प्लीज सेल मी सिंस देर देर इज बैड इंटरक्शन दे विल बी फार अपार्ट दे विल नॉट बी हेल्प टूगेदर दे आर फार अपार्ट दे विल बी हैविंग मोर वॉल्यूम आपने सौ सौ एम एल से स्टार्ट किया था दो सौ होना चाहिए था आइडियल सोल्यूशन में But since they are having bad interaction, they will be far apart. It will be greater than, not less than. यहाँ पे क्या थी अवन उन्होंने? Less than two hundred ml. That is a false statement. Clear है सबको ये सुनो पीसल नहीं आदित्य, आंद्रियल, मरीता और प्रिया. Yes sir. Clear है? Okay ma'am. Sir, so, so, if there is negative de uh, sorry positive deviation, the hmm. volume of the resultant solution must be greater than the sum of the volumes yeah, of the correct. component. Yeah, correct. Component. हाँ, sum of the components. Yeah, correct. So, जो डेल्टा वी होता है ना दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव इन पॉजिटिव डिविएशन ठीक है डेल्टा वी इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव इवन डेल्टा एच जो होता है पॉजिटिव डिविएशन दैट इज ऑल्सो पॉजिटिव डेल्टा एच का क्या मतलब है इन था वी हैव टू गिव हीट इफ यू आर गिविंग हीट इट विल बी पॉजिटिव क्लियर यस सर राइट दिस क्वेश्चन हियर द टोटल प्रेशर ऑब्जर्वड बाय मिक्सिंग टू लिक्विड्स ए एंड बी इज 350 एमएम एच जी दैट इज द टोटल प्रेशर When their mole fraction are zero point seven and zero point three respectively, the total pressure becomes four hundred ten mm Hg if the mole fraction are changed to zero point two and zero point eight respectively for A and B. Then they have asked you the pure the vapor pressure of pure A. They have given you two equations. P one, जहाँ पे आपके पास है. P not A, chi A one plus P not B, chi B, chi B one. एक दूसरा इक्वेशन है दैट इज दिस इज फॉर दिस लाइन हियर ओके देन यू हैव पी टू विच इज इक्वल टू पी नॉट ए काई ए टू प्लस पी नॉट बी काई बी टू यू हैव टू यूज दिस इक्वेशन एंड यू हैव टू गेट व्हाट इज दीपर प्रेशर ऑफ प्योर ए
one. Okay, Priya, we will see. I think you are getting something wrong. Thoda sa galat hai. See. Ha, Krishna, that is correct. Very good, Krishna. Uh, Priya, can you send me how you have done? Do you have my number, Priya? Mm, yeah, okay. Send me how you have done. Okay. Uh, Marita, no. Marita, can you send me how you have done? Yes, sir. PA nikalna hai na aap logo ko. So you can just uh, eliminate PP. Kaise eliminate hoga? You multiply this equation by 8 and you multiply this equation by 3. Okay. Jati ki suni aapko ta se kiya hai. ये तो कैंसिल हो जाएंगे दोनों अब भी कैसे गलत आया आपका 1570 पी विल बी 314 ना पूर आया पूर कैसे आया है अरे 5.6 minus 0 0.6 विल बी इक्वल टू 5 पी है ना मरीता यस यस सर ओके इनका 50 आ गया uh, Pradeshni, I hope you saw what is your mistake. Mm, yes, sir. I think I can't. Uh, I sent it to you actually. Ah, yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. I saw. I didn't carry up. I saw. Note this down. PB is, I don't know how much is PB. <laughs> Real. I only calculated P and P B to eliminate Kadia. You calculated P B or what? Adriel. It's of no use if you calculate P B. 435, 434. Yeah, it is correct, I think. Okay, and 14 is the correct answer. Write this next question.
This is Henry's law. See, they have uh, said here, assume that the solubility of O2 is assume that the solubility of O2 is too small, nearly negligible. That means when you are calculating chi B, that is equal to NB upon NA plus NB. In this case, denominator may say you can what? You can neglect NB. NB upon NA. Okay. So use this now. P is equal to KH into NB upon NA. ठीक है? Partial pressure दिया हुआ है आपको. कितना दिया हुआ है O2 का? 0 0.920 दिया हुआ है. And they have given Henry's law constant at 3 Kelvin. That is equal to 46.82. और उन्होंने क्या बोला है? 1 liter water. 1 liter water में कितने number of moles होते हैं? 1000 upon 18. और ये जो answer आएगा ना, इसको याद कर लीजेगा. It's very important answer. So calculate. You just need to calculate. एक एक calculation आपको यहाँ पे करना, फिर उसको यहाँ पे plug in कर देना. That's it. Zero point nine two zero. Now it is going to be like this. N B is equal to P into N A upon K H. This will be equal to how much pressure is 0 0.920 into number of moles of A. This is this will be 55.55. Take it 18 upon 1000. Divide by the KH. KH kya hai pe? 4682 into 1000. Hai na? Kilo hai yaha pe. Dhyan dijega. And it is just in bar. No? Ah, take it. 1000 yaha pe multiply hoga. Sir, how did you get four six eight two into thousand? H and this is now constant for this is it. Oh, sorry, forty six point eight two. Oh, my God. So four six eight two into hundred plus you know? into ten. You calculate this, you will get the answer to be 1 into 10 to the power, 1 point something to 10 to the power minus 3 moles. So, can I say 1 millimoles? Okay, the answer is 1. The answer is going to be 1. Okay. <clears throat> you have similar questions? 
आप जब आंसर कर लें तो उसके बाद अगर आपको आंसर चेक करना है कितना है तो आप आसानी से देख सकते हैं यू कैन जस्ट गो टू जेई मे ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू एंड यू विल इजिली गेट दी सोल्यूशन Do you know the website where you can get all the previous year question papers? No, ha. Kisi ko pata hai? Nahi pata. No sir. Okay, just a second. Okay, just go to this link. Aapko yahan pe chapter wise alag alag mil jayega bilkul. Theek hai? Past years JE examinations. This also has for me. So Mr. JE got the answer. Now moving on to colligative properties. Colligative property one we have already seen the relative lowering of vapor pressure, and then we have elevation in boiling point, depression in freezing point, and osmotic pressure. What is elevation in boiling point? What is the formula? Basically, sir, for sir, formula. See, here, sir, question has come. So please, sir, formula. Remember, go and take it. Okay. And whatever theory you have learned in. For uh, learn for the board examination, उतना ही है ना फिर बाकी formula से सीधा सीधा सवाल आया है शाह okay so elevation boiling point की definition क्या है it is the difference between the boiling point of the solution and the solvent pure solvent का जो boiling point है तो solution का boiling point क्या हो जाता है ज़्यादा हो जाता है ना so this is not the formula ये क्या है this is the definition of boiling point similarly depression point में क्या होता है the freezing point gets low तो जो solvent का freezing point है this is for solvent and this is for solution ओके सो डेल्टा टी बी इज इक्वल टू आई आई इट इज आई इज द वेंट ऑफ फैक्टर फॉर एग्जांपल अगर आपके पास एन है तो यहाँ पे एन प्लस और सी नेगेटिव में डिसोसिएट होगा दैट इज फॉर दिस आई इज इक्वल टू टू सिमिलरली अगर आपके पास एम जी सी एल टू होता देन इट विल डिसोसिएट इन टू एम जी टू प्लस प्लस टू क्लोरिन नेगेटिव एंड दैट इज वाई आई विल बीवल टू हाउ मच प्लीज एल मी गाइज और शुड बी द वैल्यू ऑफ आई थ्री है ना आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू नो दिस नाउ आई इंटू के बी इंटू डब्ल्यू बी इंटू थाउजेंड अपॉन एम बी इंटू डब्ल्यू ए What are the different things? This is the cryoscopic constant. This is the mass of solute in grams. Thousand is just uh, to get basically I into K B into molality. होता है तो molality की elaborate form में है. And since we are taking W A also in grams, this is the mass of solvent. Since this is also in grams, we are multiplying thousand here. And this is the molar mass. Of solute and delta Tf is equal to I into Kf into Wb. So if you have a Kf or Kb, me Kf or Kb, go for it. Perfect. Everything else is same. Next we have osmotic pressure. It is equal to I into C into RT. I is again the Vanter factor. C is the concentration in terms of molarity. This is molarity. R is the universal gas constant. T is the temperature at which you are measuring the osmotic pressure. Okay. Now I will give you time, but थोड़ा सा आप लोग note कर लीजिए यहाँ पे. Colligative property, it is inversely proportional to the molar masses, and that is by colligative property, one experiment ka divided by colligative property, dusre solute ka solute one and solute two is equal to M B two upon M P one, है ना inverse relationship है तो C P two का यहाँ चला गया है और C P one का यहाँ आ गया, okay? So please remember this colligative property of one solute upon colligative property of another solute will be equal to the molar mass of second solute upon molar mass of first solute for percentage dissociation and association. अल्फा यूज करते हैं हम लोग किसके लिए डिसोसिएशन के लिए दिस इज फॉर डिसोसिएशन एंड एसोसिएशन के लिए बीटा यूज करते हैं एंड दीज आर द फार्मूला विद व्हिच रिलेट्स द परसेंटेज एसोसिएशन डिसोसिएशन टू द पेंटोफ फैक्टर ओके सो प्लीज राइट एवरीथिंग टिल हियर एलिवेशन इन बॉइलिंग पॉइंट डिप्रेशन इन फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर Note on colligative properties relationship with the molecular mass, then for percentage association and dissociation. So can you show the homework questions? Is for reflection. Na, pahle homework question dikha. Homework question abhi aap likhi ga kya? Nee na no screenshot. Screenshot. Ha. Baad mein le lijiye ga. Thik hai. Yaad dilaye ga last time.
done everyone just a minute Then should we move on? Done. Sir. So, do this question. Tell me about A. Is it true or false? A kya? true hai ya false hai? Na, it is false. Thik hai. Thik ye option bhi nahi, ye option bhi galat ho gaya. Correct? Yes or no, please tell me? Yes. yes sir. Now, the only option that is left is? What? C or D. Anna, the only option left is what? Okay, Krishna. So, is E a part of surface chemistry? Uh, e is a part of surface chemistry, you're right. Okay, sir. He is also a false statement because when you have H in O3, a negative oh, when Ki solution is added to silver nitrate solution. H in O3 me up cat ali Ki W. You will get K in O3 plus Ki W. Correct, yes or no, please tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, 
KNO3 ये क्या है दिस इज अ वेरी स्ट्रॉन्ग इलेक्ट्रोलाइट AGI उसके रेस्पेक्टिव में क्या है AgCl, AG, AGI, AGI, all of these are what weak electrolytes. And इसकी वजह से यहाँ पे Ag की वजह से क्या होगा There will be a positive salt created, ठीक है Ag क्या होगा It will be adsorbed and it, there will be a positive salt created, not negative salt created. ठीक है This is false. So correct option will be C. Now moving on to the next one. ये कीजिए आप अच्छा सबसे पहले यहाँ पे एक बात बताइए आप लोग ऑल ऑफ यू टेल मी ए बी सी डी में से यहाँ पे ए बी सी डी में से किसको देखिएगा सबसे पहले आप बी एंड सी हाँ बी को सबसे पहले देखना है ठीक है वाई बी देखिए आई विल ऑलवेज लुक एट दी ऑप्शन आई कैन सी दैट ए इज हैविंग थ्री 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 ठीक है बी में एक बार वन है दूसरी बार वन है तीसरी बार टू है और दूसरी बार थ्री है दैट मीन्स अगर हमने बी को सही आइडेंटिफाई कर लिया तब हमारे पास सिर्फ और सिर्फ कितने ऑप्शन बच जाएंगे सिर्फ और सिर्फ दो ऑप्शन बच जाएंगे उसके बाद फिर आप सी को देख लीजिए या फिर डी को देख लीजिए ठीक है तो यहाँ से इस तरह से आप लोग पहले चूज कीजिए बी को देखिए आप B का क्या ऑप्शन होगा के एफ इज वॉट के एफ एस हाँ क्राइस्कोपिक कॉन्स्टेंट है के अब उसके बाद आप देख लीजिए ए को नहीं देखना है यहाँ पे ठीक है ना बिकॉज ए बिकॉज अब आपके पास दो ही ऑप्शन है ऑप्शन ए और ऑप्शन बी सो यू डोंट हैव टू लुक एट दी ए क्योंकि ए में दोनों सेम है सी और डी में से देखिए सी देखिए सोल्यूशन विद सेम ऑस्मोटिक प्रेशर को क्या बोलते हैं ऑप्शन हो जाएगा है ना तो सिर्फ हमने दो ऑप्शन देखा और उसी में आंसर हो गया हाँ लेकिन दो ऑप्शन देखा लेकिन हमने उससे पहले क्या देख लिए थे सारे ऑप्शंस को एक बार हमने चेक कर लिया था ओके चलिए मूविंग ऑन ये थोड़ा सा ट्रिकी होगा आप लोगों के लिए But still try it. Tell me. अच्छा. Okay. In depression of freezing point experiment, the vapor pressure of solution is less than that of pure solvent. Vapor pressure of solution is less than that of pure solvent. ठीक है true. Vapor pressure of solution ये तो false हो जाएगा. Only solute molecules solidify at freezing point. नहीं solute molecules solidify तो नहीं होंगे ना. डिजोल्व होंगे और वो प्रेसिपिटेट होते हैं दो चीज होता है ठीक है जो अगर सॉलिड सोल्यूट रहेगा इट विल आइर डिजोल्व और इट विल प्रेसिपिटेट ओनली सॉलिड मॉलिक्यूल सॉलिडिफाई एट फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट दिस इज आल्सो ट्रू ना दिस इज आल्सो ट्रू राइट यस नो नहीं नहीं आई एम टॉकिंग अबाउट इन डिप्रेशन ऑफ फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट एक्सपेरिमेंट जब सोल्यूशन का फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट लोअर हाइयर सोल्यूशन का फ्रीजिंग पॉइंट जी बेसिकली हम आपसे ये कहना चाहते हैं फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू मस्ट नॉट हैव टेस्टेड इट बट स्टिल हम ट्राई कर रहे हैं सोल्ट इन इट एंड यू फ्रीज इट ओके वॉटर ठीक है यू पोर सम सोल्ट इन इट एंड फ्रीज इट ओके 
and then if you are going to taste that ice, will that ice taste salty? Yes or no? It will taste salty, right? Yes or no? Yeah, yes, sir. Right? It is tasting salty. That means Na and Cl is still what? It is still dissolved. Correct? Okay, okay. It is still dissolved in that ice. Only the water has solidified. Clear? Everyone, yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That is why solvent molecules only solidify. And solute, it can either dissolve or get precipitated. Okay, there are only two things that can happen. NaCl, when you are dissolving NaCl, that it is getting converted into liquid. It is dissociated. It is dissolved. NaCl negative, dono dono, alag -alag part. So here will, uh, the option is going to be A and D only. Hana? C option is going to be the correct one. Kisi ko aaya tha ye? 24th. This was this year. Kisi ne diya tha? Nee, kisi ko nahi aaya. When was your paper, Krishna? 30th. 30th. No one had on 24th? No, sir. 30th. Thirtieth में कौन सा? अभी अच्छा अभी तक हमने Boiling point of a two percent aqueous solution of a non-volatile solute A is equal to boiling point of eight percent aqueous solution of non-volatile solute B. So, A ka 2% is equal to the 8% of another one. Okay? Solution A is equal to, this is 8% of B and 2% of A. Okay? Now, you tell me, which one has lower molar mass? Is ka molar mass kam hoga? A ka ya B ka? Tell me. A. Very good. Because A is more efficient in lowering the boiling point. Can I say that? Yes or no? Please tell me. Yes, sir. A, which is doing 2 percent, which is doing 2 percent, which is doing 2 percent, which is doing 8 percent. That is why what I can say in lowering the boiling point, A is more efficient. A, A is more efficient only because its molar mass is less. Okay, molar mass is less. Now, let me tell you. Will this option be correct? No, na? MA is equal no. to 4. No, will this be correct? No. No, right? No. Here, we can write this one. 1 is to 4 ka ratio. Hai. Tell me, yes or no? Yes, sir. Right? Molar mass will be 1 is to 4 ka ratio. Hoga. That means 4 MA will be equal to MB. Na? MB is bhari hai. So correct option kya ho jaga 4 MA B option ho jaga correct aapka. Got it guys? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Same hai aapka. Bilkul same sa wale hai na? So try ki ji. Two solutions A and B are prepared by dissolving one gram of non-volatile solute X and Y respectively in one kg of water. The ratio of depression and freezing point of our A and B is found is to one is found to be one is to four. Okay. So this is for A and this is for B. The ratio of molar masses of X and Y.
Oh, you have sent me answers. Very good, guys. That is correct. Try this one. And just give me two minutes. This is going to be a bit lengthy because they are asking about the percentage dissociation of solute A in water. So tell me, delta Tf is equal to, delta Tf it is equal to, and zero point. Hey, delta T of the formula, push the formula. Delta T of the say, yeah, 0 0.2. Take formula, push the What is the formula? Delta T is equal to I into I into KF into molality. Uh, molality, the other way, yeah, Nina. So you have to write what? Uh, WB into thousand. You formula, you use colleagues. MB into WA. Everything should be in grams. Take if you want to calculate the molarity, but let me tell you. They are asking solute A associates in water, associates in water. When 0 0.7 gram of solute A is dissolved in uh, 42 percentage, the 42 gram of water depresses the freezing point by 0 0.2 degrees Celsius. Okay. So you can calculate I from here. Yes or no? And then fin up classical click beta will be equal to I minus one upon one upon N minus one upon N minus यहाँ पे आप n की वैल्यू को ना टू रखिएगा, ठीक है? Generally when uh, how many molecules are associating वो दिया नहीं रहता, तो हम लोग dimerization लेके चलते हैं, that is equal to two.
anyone got i You have got I till now. So I got in fractions. Ma, tell me how much it is. Yes, tell me. So seven eight one two by one nine one three zero two. Sorry. Seven eight one two by nine. Sorry, one three not nine sir one three zero two zero. One three zero two zero. ज ठीक है जीरो पॉइंट टू को किसी ने केल्विन में तो चेंज नहीं कर दिया ना देखिए डिफरेंस जो होता है ना केल्विन और सेल्सियस स्केल का दैट इज सेम ओनली ओके प्लीज रिमेम्बर दैट जीरो पॉइंट टू डिग्री सेल्सियस को जीरो पॉइंट टू ही रखिएगा सो चेंज मत कीजिएगा केल्विन में समझ इस चेंजिंग तो गलत आंसर आएगा ओके okay? जैसे जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस माइनस वन वन डिग्री सेल्सियस माइनस जीरो डिग्री सेल्सियस ठीक है कितना आएगा ये वन ही आएगा डिग्री सेल्सियस डिफरेंस जो है वन डिग्री सेल्सियस इज व्हाट टू हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाइन केल्विन देख सकते हैं एंड दिस इज व्हाट टू नाइनटी एट केल्विन ओह सॉरी दिस इज टू सेवेंटी फोर एंड दिस इज टू सेवेंटी थ्री केल्विन यहाँ पे भी आपके पास डिफरेंस क्या आ रहा है वन केल्विन सो द वैल्यूज आर सेम ठीक है जब भी डिफरेंस होता है वो सेम नहीं रहेगा दिस विल बी जीरो पॉइंट सिक्स और जो बीटा आएगा आपका दैट विल बी इक्वल टू एटी परसेंटेज Yes, sir, got it. Got it. Okay. Basically, and nothing else here, right? Okay. Yeah, tell me. Which of the following 0.1 molar aqueous solution will exhibit largest freezing point depression? So, which other depression can show? Since the concentration is same, you have to only look at what I. Who is dissociating? Who is not dissociating? All the organic D. molecules. Uh, D is the correct answer, right? All the organic molecules. You have hydrazine, glycine, glucose. They do not dissociate completely, है ना? और कम dissociate करते हैं, okay? KHSO4, it is going to dissociate effectively. K plus and HSO4 negative. What about this one? Which of the following? 0.6 molar aqueous solution has lowest freezing point? Has lowest freezing point? कौन सा होगा इसमें से? Option A. A. C. C कितना दे रहा? C. A is giving. हाँ मनी दो एल्युमिनियम का दे रहा है और तीन एसओ फोर का दे रहा है इट इस किंग फाइव आयन्स हाँ तो ए इस करेक्ट ना सी कैसे होगा ए इस ओनली करेक्ट ना इट इस गोइंग टू गिव यू फाइव आयन्स टू एल थ्री पॉजिटिव प्लस थ्री एसओ फोर टू नेगेटिव ना पांच आयन्स मिलेंगे दैट इस इस डी करेक्ट आंसर So, but I is two in C, right? Ah, here I is equal to two. Hoga, so less, right? So we need lowest freezing point. Ah, so the most low freezing point is where? But depression is the most high. Where? Where will be the depression highest? Yes, Krishna. So when I is low, then freezing point is lower. When when sorry sorry when I is low, so it's directly proportional, right? So when I is low, then freezing point is lower. No, depression and freezing point is low. Delta T, right? Okay. Okay. Understand me, Aran? Got it? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Then we have only numericals. Hmm. Uh... Let me see. This is a good question. Let's go note down. 
बाकी दो आप इसमें कर लीजिएगा होमवर्क कर लीजिएगा ठीक है फर्स्ट फेब एनी वन गेव फर्स्ट फेब नहीं दिया फर्स्ट फेब को This is a good question. Why? Because they have also included something about titration, है ना? यहाँ पे volumetric analysis का कुछ उन्होंने use किया है. So from this from this part, आप क्या पता लगा लीजिएगा? You can calculate the molarity of KCL. So molarity of KCL will be what? Because it is getting titrated, it is uh, it is using 20 ml of HgNO3. Then I can write 25 ml into whatever the molarity of KCL is should be. Because this is giving you the number of moles of KCL. should be equal to 20 into the molarity of HgNO3 that is equal to 1 so the molarity of KCl will be equal to 20 upon 25 is this clear yahan tak yes or no please tell me all of you okay so what i can write here this is a uh, 4 sa this is 5 sa and 5 point and this will be 0.8 so this is 0.8 mole theek hai this is 0.8 mole so once i have got the molarity now what i can calculate What is the depression in freezing point of KCl solution of the given concentration? Then what you have to do? Density of the aqueous solution is one gram per ml. Okay. So here, sir, you have to calculate the molarity. After that, you have to calculate the molarity. 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 So molarity is equal to m upon thousand into density. Minus the molecular mass of the solute, है ना? Into the molarity again. Now, what is the molarity here? Molarity is zero point eight upon thousand. Density उन्होंने one बोला है, तो that is why this will be thousand minus molar mass of KCl. कितना हो जाएगा? Thirty five point five plus thirty five plus point five plus how much? थर्टी नाइन तीस और सत्तर 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 ओह अच्छा दिस इज न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन ना ओके न्यूमेरिकल क्वेश्चन में व्हेन द डेंसिटी इज 1 ग्राम पर एमएल तो आप इतना कैलकुलेट करने की जरूरत नहीं आई थिंक अप्रोक्सीमेटली आंसर सेम ही आएगा मोलारिटी और मोलारिटी का व्हेन यू कैलकुलेट इट एट द एंड सच इट इज अ जर टाइप क्वेश्चन लेट मी सी 0.8 अपॉन 1000 79.5 Into zero point eight is equal to zero point eight molar. Oh yes, yes. My bad, my bad. Seventy four point five. Yeah.
एंड इन टू थाउजेंड इज ऑल्सो देर है ना इन टू थाउजेंड भी है यहाँ पर तो अप्रोक्सीमेटली आपको सेम ही आंसर मिलेगा यहाँ पे 0.8 के करीब ही मिलेगा 0.8 से थोड़ा ज्यादा मिल सकता है बस अदरवाइज इट विल बी अप्रोक्सीमेटली 0.8 ओनली तो बेसिकली अब आपके पास क्या बचा डेल्टा टी एफ इज इक्वल टू आई वट विल बी आई हियर आई इन टू के एफ इन टू M. I will be equal to two because KCl is a strong electrolyte. KCl and it is going to dissociate into two things. Into two into zero point eighty rand. Give me, please. Okay. So you will get two to the four and eight four. So this is right, right? Three point two. So this will be nearest integer. What will happen? Three will happen. Even if it was eighty five, yeah, you can see the answer. Four into zero point eight five is equal to three point four. Ha. Then you have to write three. Reality, see, you have to write three. Reality, see, you have to write three. Reality, see, you have to write three. अगर आप 0.85 लेके कीजिएगा तो आंसर आपका आएगा 3.4. पॉइंट फोर स्टिल इट इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री ओनली ऑल ऑफ यू डन यूसन ऑफ यूसलमी इज एवरी वन डन यस ओके चलिए स्क्रीनशॉट ले लीजिए इस सवाल का क्वेश्चन नंबर एटीन आंसर आई होप यू हैव टेकन द स्क्रीनशॉट 